Yeah, we back, baby. Get it, Arlet. Get it, Arlet. <laughs> Mad and Serenity. Serena, you one of my top dogs, man. You one of my favorite. Let's get into it, man. Hopefully, y'all sit next to each other. I doubt it. <laughs> Smash that like button. Yeah. Why you left them drawers on them? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It's your host, Arlette. And she got that blue on. Oh, nails done, hair done, everything did. My dog got a collar pop. Let's get into it. We are here today with Serenity and Madit. How's it going, guys? How we feeling? I'm blessed. Okay. I'm, I'm happy to be here. Good. How you feeling? Feeling great. It's Sunday. It's my rest day. And <laughs> I'm feeling great. How about yourself? Good, good. We're doing good. Yeah. <laughs> so. On my Sunday rest day, who do you think you is? Jesus? Who do you think you is? God? We did have you all on episode six of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And is it going to be a yes for you, for him? Yeah, it's a yes. And it's a yes for you, for her? It's a yes for me. Hey, hey. we got a match! <laughs> <laughs> all right, you two can go on off. Right, I'll take on. this mic. Go. Hey, let's make some noise, guys! <laughs> You're not going on tonight, man. <laughs> Um, as we see that video is trending, it's, it's it's going places. It's all over. Hey, okay, Arlena, boy, I see you with the swoop, the swoop, da da da, swoop, da 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 da. How has the social media attention, comments, all that stuff been since the video has aired? Uh, Serenity, let's start with you. So I'm gonna call all my fans the brownies because yes. they've been riding for me. They've been riding for me. Brown dress, yes. <laughs> Yes, I appreciate all of the DMs and the messages. Um, I see how hard y'all write it for me in the comments. Um, and yeah, I want to touch on a few things today. So I'm excited to uh, clear the air and answer a lot of much um, asked questions that I've had in my Okay, okay. shit. Okay. Get to it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And Madit, how's it been going for you on social media? It's been great. I mean, you know, uh, they show me love. I'm getting DMs as well, believe it or not. Uh, not as much as serenity, I can imagine, but <laughs> I am getting DMs and I appreciate that. You know, a lot of nice stuff, comments about, you know, how I carried myself in the episode, mm -hmm. you know, the way um, I spoke to serenity and the other ladies that came while I was still uh, standing there. Mm -hmm. um, and just, you know, about myself in general and the things that I want to do as an entrepreneur, as mm -hmm. someone who's holding down, an, you know, a May 9 to 5. Yeah. And I think it was a great opportunity. I'm, I should congratulate you guys. I mean, episode yeah. six, you know, hands down, probably the best so far. Hey. Absolutely. It's doing, it's, doing, it's, doing, it's doing numbers, and yeah, I'm happy to have been a part of it. Yeah. yeah. Well, we love to have you guys. Up. And so kind of just to get to know you all a little bit, um, mm -hmm. as we saw on the show, you guys are both in finance. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Do you want to kind of get into what you do specifically? Um, so, yeah, um, I have a specialization in businesses. So I get the pleasure of seeing businesses start from the idea all the way to their EIN letters, to their articles of organization, to scaling their businesses. Some of the stores that you go to at the malls, I've opened them. I've helped them process their payments that you make at their stores. I help them get capital so that they can purchase inventory. So I love what I do. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Yeah. And then Madit, what about for yourself? Yeah, I'm in finance as well. Uh, I major in economics and business, and I have a, a master's in global affairs and business management. So okay. I'm currently a compliance analyst mm -hmm. uh, working with uh, a major uh, consulting company here in the Valley and nationwide as well. Mm -hmm. And I do compliance analysis. I mean, pretty much, you know, trying to make sure, uh, you know, no scammers take your money from your <laughs> bank account, you know. So everybody should thank me for that. And, um, you know, um, Trying to get into consulting and management. So it's going well so far, and I really love That's it. That's what's up. Nice. And uh, Serenity, you also mentioned you do some personal training. Yes, I how, do. How did you get into that? Or is that something you've always been into? So um, just to make a long story short, um, there's really big and significant um, health issues in my family. Mm. And I've always been into sports, as I told you in the episode. I hoop. Yep. <laughs> and I also ran track and field. And I just wanted to continue that. I love the way it made me feel. And then, you know, once you get the results, you just can't stop. Mm -hmm. I'm snatched. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then you did get a comment on the show. Someone said, I feel like she could beat me up. And I was like, hold on. I don't get what he means. Then when I looked at her, I was like, sis is fit, you know? So it's working for yeah, you. It's I working. That. Yeah. <laughs> and then, Madit, we saw in there, you kind of mentioned your 
kind of a fashionista. You love your fashion. And, you know, is that something you've always been into or you kind of grew into it? How's that? I have really. I mean, I'm from South Sudan. You know, <laughs> my people are really colorful and, uh, you know, we love to look good and dress mm -hmm. nice. And yeah. that's something part of my culture. And it's part of me as an individual. Um, I got a heat for it, you know, the the the, uh, the bracelet. I'm oh, wearing one today. You yeah. see yes. you my see, it's worth on. it. Look it's it's working, oh. right? It's working. So, uh, yeah, no, I love fashion in general. I'm okay. trying to get into uh, modeling, okay. but more of like uh, an entrepreneur model kind of, okay. you know, not a catwalk model, but, you know, try, you know, start my fashion line. Okay. Uh, that is in remembrance of my twin brother who passed away, you know, as a Sorry kid. So, that. you know, it's I've always been wondering, like, what it is like to grow up with a twin brother or a twin sister mm. and be able to wear the same, you know, matching Elvis, clothes. Yeah. So That's yeah, definitely it's something I've been thinking about it for a long time and just trying to get into it and hopefully, you know, get that started soon. All right, all right. And then uh, something that came up a lot as well was the uh, the shirt, <laughs> the seashell shirt. <laughs> Where did you get that shirt from? Because people, honestly, I don't think people were feeling it. <laughs> and uh, then they were coming for you saying you're a fashionista, but you're wearing a, a, a seashell <laughs> shirt, you know? What's going on there? I got it from Zara. I don't know what's wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, I got to go to them. I got to go to them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful one, and they said I must address it. They said I was not wearing an undershirt. I was. Okay. I, 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 don't, I don't know what television or screen they were using to look at it, but I was wearing an undershirt, and yes, it's a seashell shirt, and it's from Zara. So okay. I love it. I think Zara, uh, how you pronounce you that, John, he might be matching. right. Um, you know, she was like, you know, yeah, you can take me shopping. And then you were like, as long as you take me. Yeah. What was that? Like, did you. What you mean? What was that, man? Oh, shit mean that or it was kind of just like you were joking around or no i was throwing it around but there's nothing wrong with it you know as gentlemen still like to be taken out sometimes yeah. um, okay. you know it was like hey you know if it's my birthday or it's in a special occasion or it's just something that you want me to look good on it mm -hmm. you know I, I would love to receive it from you hmm. that's what it was all about but it wasn't more of like you know a, a tit for tat kind of thing oh yeah. is that what you took it as you know what um in the moment I didn't catch it, but oh. um, as an introspective person, I went, I watched it, and I reflected, and I thought it was a little sassy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It was a little sassy. <laughs> Hey. Y'all got called that a lot. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, I haven't read. I haven't read the comments, to be honest. Okay. Fellas, there's women out there that like to wind and dine and take care of they got to. And there's nothing wrong with both people whining and dining and taking care and loving up on each other. If you see something that you think will look nice on your man or, or, some, or on a guy you dating, oh, this will look nice on him. I like this necklace. I think it's, oh, I like this smell of this cologne. I would love to, for it to, to smell it on him. And you get it? That's just what it is. You know, sometimes it's a little thing. It doesn't have to be expensive and the same vice versa. That's just easy peasy. I don't think that was sassy, but we're in an age where... A lot of this shit y'all see, the sprinkle, sprinkle, all this shit, like women just telling on each other. We just look, where can we go to find men with money? Where are the bars at? Go to where there's $25 glasses of wine. That's where they're at. Like, you know what I mean? Y'all, people just telling on themselves online. So we be like, oh, shit, they be really using dudes. They be really dudes they just want to have free food with. <laughs> and, um, so guys are getting smarter. They're like, who wants to be used? Nobody. Nobody wants to be used for their money. Nobody wants to be used for their body. Okay, don't. <laughs> They're coming for y'all. I'm not going to lie. They're coming for y'all. <laughs> okay. Well, so this is the moment, you know, everyone's always waiting to hear about. Since you guys matched on the show, yeah. has there been a day? Have y'all gone anywhere? Or any of that good stuff? Serenity, you want to answer? I was going to ask you, but no, we did not go on a date. God damn. What y'all be going after the show? Just home? What the fuck be transpiring? Look at y'all, Les. She's sick of y'all's shit, man. She's had it up to here with your shit. It would be higher, but we'll run out of green screen. She's had it up to here with you guys, man. She's like, we rent out this space. We put together these shows. We blow up these goddamn on balloons. And you guys don't even link after the matching? Jeez Louise. We going out that night. We match on the balloon pop, baby. We got we 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 going out tonight. We already dressed. I know you hungry. You've been standing up for two, three hours. Let's go get something to eat. Um, right after we wrapped the shoot, we 
We did go to the club with a handful of people. Okay. And oh, y'all gotta start documenting the after party too. Like you know, what I mean, it don't gotta be no audio. Just, just like a little highlight night. Get a couple clips, throw that shit on CapCut, and put it to the to the internet. It was hard to have a conversation in the club. Yeah, I bet. Uh, <laughs> but he seems like a really great guy. But um, I will say, after the show went live, mm-hmm. I mean, I've been getting a mass amount of just inquiries for my business. Um, and then also, there's a lot of guys out there applying pressure. Mm. And you- Come on, man. Stay focused, man. There's always guys applying pressure. But this is someone you met in person. And y'all matched and had interest. The, the grass always looked green. It always looked like social media gives you that it's more out there than what it actually is. Then you go out there and you realize it's a bunch of nothingness. Come on. You let them DMs get popping and that clout get cl- cl- clout your judgment. You either applying the pressure or you feeling it. And I wasn't getting that from Adi. Mm. So now he completing, he's competing with strangers in the DMs because they already felt like on the episode that she was she was fine. She looked good. And those guys were corny for passing her because she had a fitness build. Um, so you're getting all of those guys in the DMs. You're getting all the girls gassing her up, saying she looks good. And now the dude that she was actually matched with, since he's not, I'm not competing with no with the niggas in the DMs. I'm not competing with strangers and people behind profile pictures. Like you met me in person. You felt the vibe. We kick in. We chilling. I don't give a damn about who in your DMs. Whoop de do. I'm, I'm just got. I got to apply pressure for the rest of my life and stress myself out and bend over backwards because this dude's in your DMs. Would you apply the same? It's mutual interest, guys. I say it all the time. Y'all should be running at each other like this. I'm not chasing you. And I do not want you to chase me. I want both of us to be running at each other full damn speed. And that collision is supposed to be a masterpiece. I'm not applying. Uh, if I, uh, only thing I'm applying pressure to is wounds. You got to cut. We got to apply pressure. We might have to go get this stitched up, baby. We're going to go get this glued or stapled. But I'm not just applying pressure. Like people, we grown ass adults with businesses and drives, and we're working. Either, either we have mutual interests or we don't. Yeah. Okay, what's going on? Oh, she threw back at me. <laughs> hey, uh, we did go out after that, you know. And as she said, it was the club, and mm-hmm. it's too noisy. You know, we right. caught up a little bit. You know, family. You know, uh, basic questions about you know profession, personal interests, and likes. Mm-hmm. And I did uh, try to schedule a date for the following weekend right before the episode dropped. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it happened that she was, you know, she works out, she works late on Fridays and it was either a Saturday or a Sunday. And she, she had something to do on Saturday and she had a friend's birthday to attend on Sunday. So I just, I told her, you know, I know you're busy. I'm busy as well. Just when when your schedule opens up and I'll be. Hey, now if, if you're busy Friday and I try to schedule Saturday and Sunday and you're busy, that's three attempts. Now you come to me and you let me know when you got time for us. I'm not I'm not bending over backwards. I'm not doing no more none of that. That's two to three attempts to trying to schedule something. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You booked up. That's cool. All right. You busy. Totally understand it. Let me know when you're free. We can hang out. Let me know when you're free and I can still plan something around your schedule. That's crazy work. Happy to take you on a date. Okay. So did the schedule open up and you have you hit him up? No. Oh, God shit. damn! We were rooting for you. We were on your side, Bruh. Arlette, what's up, bruh? They be mad. She, she don't even have. No, I didn't hit him up. No. Why? Let her finish. T. Shut up. You talk too much during these. I apologize. Okay, what happened? <laughs> Why not? Um. There just have been a few other guys applying that pressure, and that's corny. That's corny. That's corny. If after I ask you two or three times and you're not available, I'm like, what? What? He? That's corny. I, I don't agree with that. That's that's whack, bro. That's whack. Um, once you allow so much time to pass, it just kind of falls. You through. allow the time to pass, though. You didn't have time for him by the wayside I, like social media will really create your mindset that you have way more options than you of like than you actually have 
You know what I'm saying? You can have someone in front of you that's genuine, that genuinely wants to get to know you. And then you have someone that infatuated with you. They see you on a popular viral online video. I'm like, oh, guess who I'm out with? Guess who I'm with? And, and they're, they, have, they have an ulterior motive. They just want to be around you because of the clout that you have going on. But you fail to make yourself available two or three times. And then he says, let me know when you're free. And you don't even hit him back and saying, oh, he failed to apply pressure. Y'all grown, bro. Y'all are adults in your 30s talking about applying. How much pressure? You want to just keep hitting you up, 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 hitting you up. Then when you finally get her out, she like, yeah, he begged me to come out, basically. He's been on my head top. He begged me to be here. And then women wonder why when shit shifts and the relationship goes and, and intimacy comes into place. And if you're a guy and you're handling business and you knock that thing down, how you supposed to knock it down? And you handle what you're supposed to handle? Do you, you, you got them ankles in the air? You picking her up? You, you, you hopping through the house like the daddy or the stepdaddy on baby boy? And that, and that power, that dynamic shift, and then you, oh, he started acting different when he got some. Oh, he started acting different. Oh, now he's nonchalant. It's always three months that guys start to switch it up. It must have been the eclipse. Nah, this be y'all own doing. This be y'all, y'all make dude. If I'm working, I'm hitting you up 20 times and, I, and, and just to get you out once, this eventually better be the best loving, hugging, I, anything. Every aspect of you better be the best ever or I'm going to feel like, Damn, I, uh, this wasn't worth it. I applied all this pressure and this is it. You know what I'm saying? You better, you better be in there like a P star. You know, everything better be, lips better be soft, better be the best kisser, better be moisturized. All, oh, everything. Smelling good, clean, shaving, uh, everything. Hands soft. <laughs> like I said, I do appreciate a guy who's showing interest and applying that pressure mm -hmm. and kind of won't leave me alone, mm. in a sense. Grow up! This is so, dude, we were rooting for you. I kind of enjoy a guy that won't leave me alone. What the hell you want a Steve Urkel? Do you think you is Laura Winslow? Stefan ended up not even having enough time for Laura. That man went to pursue a modeling career in London or some shit. What are we doing? What are you doing? Oh, so you wanted him just, to keep trying? Just apply pressure. If you were really interested, and this isn't, this wasn't for like a clout experience yeah. or an opportunity to push your business. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, try again. Mm. I was busy this weekend, but there's other days in the week. Okay. That's not what the communication was. Hold, hold just, you got to hold yourself accountable. If a, if a young lady be like, hey, I want to hang out. Okay, listen, I'm busy this weekend. I'm busy this. Yeah, and, and they hit you with, all right, well, look, you just let me know when you're free and we could do something. You didn't let him know when you was free. You didn't even hold up your end of the bargain. You, I'm pretty sure you was like, okay, I will. You did not do that. You did not hold up the end of your, your stick. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, you know, Madit, she wants you to apply that pressure. What, you don't shit, want to man. apply the pressure? What's up? I don't mind applying the pressure, but really at this age and at this point in my life, reciprocity is everything. Okay. Right. As a gentleman, I reach out to try to schedule a date because mm. I had to get my balloon back. Mm. Yeah. I knew it was dumb from me to say you didn't have a bracelet on. <laughs> That's something I can get you anytime. What Matt made you want to say that Matt in the first place? Nah, you're going back. We, we, that, that, that's at the show, baby. Focus. Focus. Matter of fact, matter of fact, that's my favorite gift that I like to give to people mm. and females in my life in general. It's watches. You know, it's things to adorn their wrists with. Okay. So, but... What made me say that in the first place, you walked out, beautiful woman, well put together, as someone who adorns his wrist, I wanted to see that come across. Mm. You know, if you were dressed like going on a date or a fancy, you know, dinner, there's no way I would see you without something on the wrist. That's the first thing that came in my mind, and I had to say that. Okay. Right? So. But I took it back, and yeah. everybody knows that. I don't know why... They're letting up my ass still. I was yeah. the one who took you out of the show. Everybody else said what they had to say, and they kept their balloon popped. So, but hey, bring the heat. I can take it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but, but to your point, applying pressure, and I knew it. Right? Thank you. Thank you. Once the episode dropped, and we should blame it on our or something. You Me? All right, let's say, hey. Hey, all right, let's say, don't put me in the middle of this shit. <laughs> Look at her face. 
<laughs> me? <laughs> Security. Probably could have waited. Let me let me check her out first and see how it works before you let the gates open and everybody else come, you know, running yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. Hey, if the gates get open, the gates get open, baby. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I look good too. I got my shit going too. If you if you think hundred niggas in the DMs can 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 do it better, you want to test the waters, have at it. Go do whatever you need to do. It's, it's mutual interest or no interest. We we applying we both applying pressure. You know what I'm saying? I'm not chasing. I'm not. I don't want to be chased. You feel me? I want like-minded individuals to come together. Cause fellas, when the shit fall, when when it, when it when it don't work out, this is what they gonna say. Oh, he was chasing. I ain't really want him anyway. I gave him a chance. I ain't even like him like that. He was tracking me down. I what women say. I hate when a dude try try uh, prop pressure, prop pressure, prop pressure, prop pressure, just to just to curve you or just to lie to you or just to do this, bro. You got this man jumping through hoops and shit like he a gladiator going across the river swimming and shit like like he an ultimate warrior. Ain't nobody trying to do that, man. Ain't nobody trying to do that, bro. Nobody can. And then y'all be like, oh, it was so nice in the beginning. He was so sweet. He was so romantic. No one can sustain that or keep that up. You know what I mean? Even in a relationship, you should always date the person you're in a relationship with. But nobody can continuously apply pressure forever like god damn bro like motherfuckers get tired like people just can't do crossfit workouts all day every day your body need is wear and tear bitch i can hit you up here i can get up here i can get up but i'm gonna need a cool down bitch and while i'm cooling out why you ain't up there let's get this thing evened out let's get a medium but uh um, here you need yeah, to no it's uh i mean th th that's from her point of view uh -huh. my point of view is i tried to schedule a date you were the one that was busy what did I say? I understand you're a professional woman. You got a lot of things going on. And so I might. Please let me know if it opens up the following weekend. That's it. Do you really expect me to say, hey, has your schedule opened up yet? You know we did match. It's going viral around the world. They're expecting something from us. <laughs> hey, Medit, my schedule is open the following weekend. Let me know what the plan is. Happy to do it. I was waiting on you, but I didn't know the DMs were coming. That's part of the strategy as well. I want, I go places, right? Don't, don't, don't let the places I'll be in sometimes fool you. Like from the, all the way from South Sudan, been to multiple countries, education, free scholarships, masters, my profession that I'm doing, all earn, right? All earn. And so my point is, if I'm gonna chase you, I wanna see the interest. Mm. And I go to different rooms, I don't want my woman looking over her shoulder for who the best version of Madrid is. You got it! Oh, you killed that shit! Oh my God! I got you in the room. It's always gonna be another guy out there, fellas, that got more money than you, that's taller than you, that that uh look better than you, me bigger than yours. So what? Who cares? I don't give a damn. You know why? Cause my lady wants me. It doesn't matter. It does. She don't eye. Her eyes ain't. She don't got wondering eyes. Ooh, he fine. Ooh, he fine, babe. What you looking at? Why you looking at him? What's, what's, what's going on? Why y'all got eye contact? That's the most disrespectful. Right, boy, 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 boy. These guys. Uh, the last, this one, the last one I did, uh, these follow-up catch-ups, and then the one with uh, the dude with the lingo that was talking from Chicago that really ain't have his own spot. It's, it's not the men. It's not the men. I, I, I'm going to see you in the comment section. I don't want that person with me. If you're with me, see it through. We didn't even get to go on a date. So you didn't feel that there was any interest coming? There was no right interest. Now. I did see the DMs. I was reading some of the comments. Mm -hmm. And this is what I mean by, like, I said the last episode, I said the girl didn't even say anything back. And then, like, no, she was listening. Like, she don't have nothing back to that. That's obvious. If you ask this woman right now if she had a son that was 16 years old or a son that was 21 or a younger brother and he was pursuing a girl and you was like, yo, I really like her. Okay, tell her you really like her. Ask her out. I asked her out two or three times. She was busy. And then I was like, well, just let me know when you're free. What would you tell your younger brother? What would you tell your son? You wouldn't tell your son, keep going out there like Bobo the Fool. You wouldn't want that for them. Y'all would not want that for them. Just think about that sometimes. Sometimes y'all just think about like, oh, it's a man, be a man. You suppose this man, man, men are taught to hunt. What would you want for your own blood? 
You wouldn't want them to be putting themselves out. He put himself out there. And she just, she was just, she has nothing. It's other people applying pressure. Who cares? Who cares? Hey, babe, um, let's hook up tonight. She tells you, your girl tell you, I'm not in the mood. You're not in the mood? Next day, she's not in the mood. Okay, and instead of you find out why she's not in the mood, what can you do better to get her in the mood? You tell her some shit like this or think to yourself, well, this girl in, it's girls in the DMs that are in the mood. It's girls in the DMs that are applying pressure that want this Chico stick, that want me in their sugar walls, that want me to knock their angles loose. That shit sounds stupid. It sounds dumb. Blasphemy. I wanted to see. It's a test. Is she gonna fall for that? Test. Or is We're she single. gonna? No, nah, don't try to don't try to switch it up. She's gonna try to run with that test. She's gonna be like, oh, test. I don't want to be a test. We're, We're single. Or We're is not... she gonna see the guy that she matched with? We're not in a, a relationship. So what do you mean? You want to? I know we're give not me a, a test. This is not school. I knew it. She was gonna run with that. That was just the wording. So he just said a bunch of stuff, and she heard the word test, and was like, ooh. I could run with this. A test, we're not in school. We're not in a relationship. A test is playing games. It sucks, but every woman runs a, a test. A test could be like, oh, didn't you, it, you, like a test was the one, one, one of the joints where the girl was like, um, you ain't playing a date. That was a test. Or you don't open the door. That'd be a test. Like, you know what I mean? It, both sexes give off tests. I think it's ignorant, but it, it happens. But she just took that word once he said that and everything he said before is, is about to get ignored i'm a single woman you had your chance you blew it one time you thought it over got a balloon back and you didn't think that you needed to apply pressure hopeless you have to prove yourself okay a from, bracelet from your point of view come on now you didn't think when i walked out there as a beautiful woman i don't have a big closet mm. with accessories and a different color clothes it's still your first impression that's not on them if 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 you step out and the, and, the, and the fit ain't fitting, you can't say, oh, I got a nice closet. That's not what you got on today, though. And she and she got attitude and sass right now. She upset. He's like, he, he's he's correct, though, man. I don't know. Okay. We all good, though. We still want to go on a date or not? No. <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're over it at this point? Yes, over it. Okay, okay. So it was just him not pursuing it any longer yes. after. Okay, so you, yeah. like he said, you wanted him to follow up with you it. again. Yeah. Be like, hey, is that scary? Um, fellas, do not do that shit. And I say that from the perspective of if she, if she is into you, if she looked at that man and said, I find him attractive, like I think he's, he's he has a nice body, he's gorgeous, or just something like, I want to rip his clothes off, even if she's not on that. Like, but if she, it's, sometimes you can say, like, women will look at you, or if you think he smells good, his arms feel good, his back, nice back, whatever. You're not, <laughs> you, you, you're not going through all of this. And I hate to break it to y'all. All men are not going through what he's going through with her. If she, if she's infatuated with you, you think you look good, then you got it going on, woo de woo, and you do it for her off that eye test alone. Nah, fam. She gonna she gonna figure it out, make herself available. Oh, I got a birthday on Sunday to go to. Um, I would love to see you after the birthday. I would love to see you before I go out. They they gonna they gonna make it happen. They'll leave their friends. Girl, I got this guy. He is so fine. We ain't have a chance to hook up. I I, I just want to show face. I gotta go. It's going to happen. Some it, they're gonna make a way. It's the same vice versa. Oh, I got it. My homeboys. Hey, fellas, good seeing y'all, boys. I got to cut out early. I got somebody I really want to see. I got somebody I really want to hang out. I got, a, I got a hot date. And the homies be happy for you. What? For real? Hey, preach it. Yeah, happy birthday. You. Hey, happy birthday. Good seeing y'all, boy. Hell yeah, man. Let us know how I go. You know what I mean? They be excited for you. Schedule free. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. I'm not doing that shit. You got to put in a little bit more work. You don't get it just that easy. Hey, mm, I, sorry. I, I, you don't get, you don't get a, a date that easy after matching on the show already? A date's already supposed to transpire. I'm applying pressure after we matched on the dating show. That's nuts. That's nuts. That's like being on a reality show. Y'all matching and y'all leave together. And now you got to apply more pressure. Y'all. I understand. I know myself as well. You got to put in work with me as well. Okay. I'm 100 over 10. If you do the math, that's a 10 over 10. Okay. 
<laughs> All right. And then so um, there were there was something that had came up yes. on YouTube. It's someone stated like, oh, on your TikTok, there's something that says like you're happily married or happily engaged. Yeah. So I wanted to address that, you guys. So I am not married. Obviously, I would not go on a show that I know is going viral mm -hmm. with over a million views. Um, at the time that I created that TikTok, I was in a long-term relationship. Okay. I had been in a relationship for about 10 years. Wow. I met the person when I was 18. He had proposed one time when I was 19, I said no, we continued to date. He proposed again when I was 27, mm -hmm. and it didn't work out, unfortunately. So at that time, I wasn't thinking, oh, let me change all my bios and all my social medias. It just happened to be there, and then I forgot the password, so I can't log in. <laughs> so I'm not married. Okay. Uh, I'm not engaged either. I'm single, which is why I was on the show. Yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And now, um, Madit, <laughs> she said she you know she's not longer open to you pursuing her or anything like that. But you know, chances always open up again. You know, is that something you would try at least again? She's a great person. I said that on the show, and I would say it again. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not. The kind of person, you know, just because something didn't work out, I'll talk bad about somebody. That's absolutely not me. Mm -hmm. You know, it didn't work out. I think, you know, there's a lot of opportunities. I came on that show with an open mind. I'm single as well. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of beautiful women like herself who came on the show. I also came to network, mm -hmm. you know, male or female. A lot of great guys who came on the show, a lot of great women, you know, yeah. have their, you know, professions going on for them. And they're nice people and just wanted to get to know them. Okay. You know, I'm working on a couple of projects as well at the same time, you know, holding down a nine to five and mm -hmm. all paths cross and they probably lead to a lot of better things than just, you know, forming relationships. I see. Okay. Any final words from either one of you? I know you said you had some things to get off your chest. Did you were you able to address them? Yeah, or? I think so. Yeah, okay. that's about it. That's all I want to address for now. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Any final words on your end? I'm good. I'm okay. not Manute Ball, first of all. <laughs> I was wearing an undershirt, <laughs> and that shirt, hey, that shirt was still at cheeks. It's business as usual. Okay, so uh, any upcoming projects we can be on the lookout from either one of you? Anything like that? Look out for uh, PHX Entertainment LLC. Okay, we just formed that. I'm a co-owner, and we host rooftop parties on Sundays and networking opportunities as well. So we'll definitely love to see some of you guys there. Okay. So I, I do own a fitness apparel line called Workout Envy, and I'm going to be launching some new apparel on the site. So be on the lookout for that. Um, I have a few other things that I can't speak on, but you'll see. Uh -huh. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming soon. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to be on the lookout for both of you all. Mm. I wish you both lots of success thank in you. both of your businesses. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We'll catch you all next time. Um, I was really rooting for her, man. I was not expecting that uh, apply pressure. You got to apply pressure thing, and then oh, it's a lot of guys in my DMs. You need to apply pressure. That's every woman's today, like women today. That's why dating apps you like you got a hundred guys you match with. You got a hundred guys in your DMs, um, and it's um, it's a false sense you know what i'm saying so you know you got you got a hundred and all these people compliment you like but you have someone like right in your face you know what i'm saying uh so that, that was just that was just nuts i wasn't expecting her to say that um tell me what y'all think about this video state your opinion you can completely disagree with me put it in the comments would love to have a discussion um i always comment back not to everybody but i try to get to most of y'all um, appreciate y'all rocking with me. Shout out to all the new subscribers. All right, let come on, drop that new pop the balloon video. It's time. I know it's a lot getting all those people together. Y'all doing a phenomenal job over there. Uh, I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. I'm out of here.